this is, I don't know what this is all about, okay? The subject is DoorDash Escalation Team wants to see my driver's license. It's a little strange because when you sign up for these apps, they already see all that stuff. You can't, you literally can't sign up for the app without your driver's license and insurance, proof of insurance. And I believe the registration too, if I'm not mistaken, right? Isn't it all three? So she says, hi, Pete. I know you're busy and I pray you're well. And same to you. Uh, I have a question for you. I got this email from DoorDash's escalation team because my app started pausing again for really no reason. I know acceptance rate doesn't matter, but I have mine up to 41%. And as she said, it doesn't matter. So this would not be the reason why. I'm trying to find out if you get better offers with a higher acceptance rating. I still won't take no tip offers or Burger King orders, but still trying to get it higher. I didn't decline more than like five or less orders today because DoorDash sent pretty good offers. I did very well today and my friends and I made just over $100 with DoorDash and Instacart combined. I declined an offer for $4. I don't like to take orders under $5 minimum. Nothing wrong with that. Most people, most people won't even take orders under $10. So there you go. Uh, I declined the order in the, I declined the order in the app, but it kept pausing me repeatedly for over an hour. I messaged DoorDash two or three times telling them the problems I was having. So they said they would escalate it again, just like they said. Then they sent me this email asking for my ID to verify myself. And I have never had them asking for my ID before. Do you think, do they think I'm committing fraud or something suspicious on my account? I have never heard of this. Uh, you've never heard of this in the, and I've never heard of this in nearly the three years that I've worked with DoorDash and they've never asked me for ideas. And when I first signed up, uh, have you heard of this or has anybody else heard of this? You're welcome to share. Uh, I know this is their email address, but at the same time, I'm skeptical uh, about it. And then they're asking me for my license. If that just doesn't make any sense, they've never asked me for it. I'm very confused. Have you ever heard of this? Is this normal? I'm not so sure about, uh, should I give them my driver's license license or is that even safe? Uh, they should have this on file, right? Did I do something wrong? Please let me know your thoughts. Thanks, Pete. You're awesome. Your friend D. So yeah. And then she shows the email and, and it looks, it looks legitimate. It really does. You know, always remember guys, check who the sender's from. If it's, if it's at DoorDash.com, nine times out of 10, it's legitimate. Yes, there are people who can spoof email addresses, but I mean, other than your address, you know, I mean, I don't really know what a scammer would want your driver's license for, uh, and your birthday, you know, I don't know. Um, I do find it very, very strange that they're asking for your driver's license because in my opinion, that is not normal. Here is my guess based on the information. And I know you for a little while. Here's what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is possibly because you said, for those of you who don't know, D is disabled. Okay. She has a very hard time doing uh, dashes uh, and working, but she makes the best of it. And she has two friends that assist her on her deliveries. I don't know if it's every time, but she does mention that she was with, uh, you know, her, her two friends and she has made up the names, uh, Steve and Sarah. Those are not their real names. Here's what I'm thinking because they're asking for your ID. I think possibly a customer may have contacted DoorDash about the fact that you drove up with three people in your car. And DoorDash may think that you are sharing your account with other dri with other drivers who maybe were deactivated or something like that. So they want to verify your identity to make sure that you are the person who delivered the food. So that is the only thing from this that I can possibly think of. If I was on DoorDash's end or something, that's the only reason why I would ask you for an ID because if somebody called and complained and said, Oh, I don't know, uh, this person, uh, it didn't match the person's, uh, you know, it didn't match the person's name or whatever the, you know, uh, it, or, or whatever it is. It's just like, it said a woman's name, but a man delivered it or something. You know what I mean? So again, I'm not trying to cause issues here, but that it seems like that could be the only reason why. So make sure it looks legitimate and then, you know, maybe get in contact with someone, but that could be the only reason why. So 
I would say, yeah, give them the ID. You know, what's the worst that could happen if it's DoorDash? They're just verifying it's you. So that's my thoughts. Everybody in the chat or the comments, why do you think DoorDash, their escalation team is asking for her ID? I don't know. That, that one's beyond me. I've never seen this one before. So, D, I hope you get that worked out because I know you're a really nice person and you deserve nothing but the best.